So we're going to move from the hard courts of the NBA and we're going to go to the gridiron of the NFL and we are going to talk about one of our favorite teams and one of our favorite players, at least mine, uh, and that's Odell Beckham Jr. New York Giants wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. told Kimberly A. Martin of Yahoo Sports that he feels like he can help out much more in the passing game to steer the Giants in the right direction. Mike, do you think that Odell Beckham is being utilized enough or is it the team's one and two start that is causing Beckham to search for answers? Well, first game he was certainly utilized enough in the game against Jacksonville, no question about it, against the toughest defense in the NFL right now. Uh, that certainly he played a very good game, and I thought that they gave him enough opportunities throughout that game. And then, of course, game two, I didn't think that they gave him the, looked at him enough um, in that loss where they lost that second game of the season. Um, but I felt like in week three, the offense was really clicking on all cylinders, and I think a lot of that had to do with the offensive line. If the offensive line is playing well, there's no question that Eli Manning is going to get more and more opportunities to get Odell Beckham Jr. the ball. The guy's a game changer. There's no question about that. And they need him. You know, they certainly need him. But Keisha, what I'll finish with is uh, it's going to be a tricky road for the next month for the Giants. You know, they face the New Orleans Saints, and then they go and they have to play the Carolina Panthers. They back that up on a short week against the Philadelphia Eagles, and then play the, the Atlanta Falcons. Now, these are four teams that wound up <laughs> making the playoffs last season. Three of the last, you know, out of the last four years, I think those three, three of those four teams, with the exception of New Orleans, has won the NFC. Yeah, I think the, the Saints were out last year. Right, think, they, right? yeah, exactly. Uh, well, they lost to Minnesota, yeah. I think, in that crazy last-second <laughs> miracle game. Um, but I think for the Giants, this is going to be a tough road ahead, and it's going to be a tough test for Pat Shermer and Odell Beckham. But I think that the biggest question mark they have is the offensive line. If that offensive line, which really started to come around in that win against Houston, if it's starting to play a lot better, then Odell Beckham certainly will be happy. Yeah, definitely. I, I agree with you. I think that his... Odell's frustrations or his sentiment was based on that Dallas game week two where he only had four receptions and 51 yards and I think you know the Giants offense has struggled scoring for the past couple seasons I mean the last time they scored 30 points in a game was January 3rd 2016 that's a lot of football to happen, and you can't score 30 points when you have an Odell Beckham Jr., when you have a Sterling Shepard. At one point, they had Brandon Marshall, but he was gone within like the first couple games of the season. But when you have Evan, Evan Ingram, when there's talent, that you know that's one of the best receiving cores in the NFL, and if you can't score 30 points, there's an issue. The offensive line really rebounded and played well on the third game against the Houston Texans, and there was a shift in the line where Eric Flowers was sidelined. He was benched, and that was a, a sigh of relief and probably jubilation for most of us who just really are shaking our heads as to why Eric Flowers has been allowed to start <laughs> <laughs> this long. Um, but the offensive line is key, and you know I think Odell was probably – Maybe if you read between the lines, he was talking to Eli because Eli has overthrown him or short thrown him or hasn't seen him wide open. So it's going to be imperative for Eli to be able to notice and fairly quickly because even with the better play from the offensive line, he's not going to have tons of time to just sit and scan for like um, 30 seconds, 10 seconds, whatever. So, you know, Eli's got to make sure that he sees the field, sees it quickly, and get, and delivers the, the ball to him. And with Odell, it doesn't even have to be a pinpoint precise pass. Just throw it somewhere in his area. He's going to get it with those big ends he's got. And then also, you know, it's going to be up to the offensive coordinator, Mike Shula, to make sure that he is running an offense that's going to get Odell involved. I mean, and it, it doesn't necessarily, I don't think you have to force feed it to him. I think because you have Sterling Shepard and you have Edwin Ingram who present enough of a threat that you can pass the ball so you're not force feeding and, and showing your hand all the time. So, you know, if the game against the Houston Texans was any indication as how this season's going to go, Odell is going to be happy, Giants fans are going to be happy, we're going to win some games, maybe make a push for the playoffs, and all will be right in New York City. Hopefully. <laughs>